Will today be the day I shave my beard? I don't want to grow it as long as I did last year. That was a little crazy and out of control. If you want to know what it looked like, go back, what, eight months or so? Ooh, big beard. I could grow it out again. I don't know what the max length that I like it, but I like having the beard, right? Just don't want it to get too out of control. Enough about beards. We're about to get our day started here. Diesel, how you doing? How did you sleep? Wagging your tail. You got very good? So you slept very good? Maybe? Half an hour? <laughs> <coughs> Apparently I'm coughing this morning. So we're gonna get our day going here. Glad you all decided to join me. Guess we should get moving. We're headed back up to Canada today. We're down here in Georgia. So, we're gonna go to Ontario. How about, let's go to Ontario. Ontario, Diesel, you excited? Look more excited, man, it's Ontario. <laughs> That's where all the people are. No? Fine then. Does this truck look familiar to anybody? Oh, yeah. That's a Smokey and the Bandit truck. That's a Smokey and the Bandit truck. Found where they parked it. Did you see that, Diesel? Did you see that? I just stop everything I'm doing and park and go say hello to the truck. I wonder if that's the actual truck used in the movie? The movie was filmed here in Georgia, right? Dude! That's the snowman's truck. Snowman, right? Bandit and snowman's a trucker. Maybe I got that wrong. I have to watch it again now. That is cool. <laughs> Got a smiley face on his trailer. When he's moving now, are you really serious? Wow! I didn't even have to wait that long. All right, once I gotta put you down. Now he's just gonna sit there in front of the pumps for two hours. Yeah, there he goes in. I'll probably be in there for like half an hour. As most people usually are. I don't know. When I pulled up behind him at the pumps, he's sitting in the pumps here giving himself a truck wash. They have these hoses with water. I don't know what they're for. Uh, I always thought they were to fill up the buckets for the windshield washer to scrub your windows down. He was sitting here washing his truck. Now it's all wet here. Oh well. Not a big deal. Let's get us some go-go juice. We are almost empty. I can't show you. What, what, what? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, we still got over a quarter tank, but it's time to fill her on up and head up on north to Canada. There's a cab over. And that guy's washing his truck at the pump too. Is this like a Georgia thing or something? Nah, the dog's going nuts on the dashboard. That's funny. Well, it was. Oh, we're gonna get cut off right here. There he goes. Oh, that's a cool shot. Yeah. I wanna see the dog. There he is. A little Pomeranian fluffy little thinger. Peterbilt cab over, that thing's a classic. I've seen a lot of classics today. First it was Smokey and the Bandit. Now we're seeing cab overs here. I'd love to have a cab over just to be different. Be fun. All right, so we got our fuel here. We're in Cartersville, Georgia. We're ready to go. We've only driven like an hour today, so really just started our day. We got about another nine hours at least today. Let's get ourselves on the freeway here. 
I-75 northbound. Here we come. Ready or not? Now we have a nice long off ramp to gain speed. Hopefully I'll be able to get up to highway speed by the time I merge so that I inconvenience as few people as possible. Signaler on. Let people know, hey, I'm coming. Here I come, you see me here? This I'm coming. Oh, a nice big open spot in traffic too. Perfect timing, like it was meant to be. I was meant to be on this highway. And my dash was meant to stop rattling, but it just it won't give up. Kilometers on I-75 North. Yes, man. I really need to take my whole dashboard and figure out what's rattling because it's driving me up the wall. It won't go away. Go away. No rattling. found ourselves a resting place. What do you think, Diesel? Hmm? What do you think? I saw that tail wag, man. You wanna go run in that grass, don't you? You wanna go run in that grass? You need to go outside? I'm serious. I'm not joshing you. So yeah, oh, rest stop, rest stop. How are you guys doing? Whew. I've been driving probably about four or five hours. You've been watching probably about four or five minutes, maybe, not even. A bit longer for me than it is for you, isn't it? Oh, let me point that at me there. Oh good, I'm wearing my camo cap, so you might not be able to see me. Let me know if I blend in to the background. You can still see me? Okay. I tried. I guess we can walk this feller. What do you think of that, Diesel? You gotta be a little more excited than that. Make some noise! Oh, you're boring. <laughs> He's getting older. You're three years old, man. Three. You're almost as old as me in dog years. Almost. Next year. Okay, so he's 21 now in dog, human years, in dog years, you know, times seven, right? So three times seven, 21. Next year, he'll be 28, and I'll only be 27. Next year, you're gonna be older than me, Diesel. How does that happen? Crazy, crazy. Oh man, so I've been listening to the news recently got hooked on CNN I know what am I doing right what am I doing uh, they were talking about this plane all morning they don't know what happened yet but it just crashed off the coast of Jamaica really unfortunate uh, they think that the cabin lost pressure it was a, a flight from Rochester New York to uh, Naples Florida but uh, the pilot and the whole plane suddenly just went dead like no one could hear from them get a hold of them and the plane was just flying, flying, flew out of the United States, over Cuba, and almost made it to Jamaica. And it ran out of fuel and hit the water. 
and no one could get a hold of them. So they think that the cabin lost air pressure and the pilots passed out. That's tragic. I was just on an airplane. Can you imagine? That's scary stuff. But People say that you're more likely to die in a car crash than a plane crash, though. So obviously listening to the news, you hear all the negatives all around the world. But thoughts are with the family of those pilots and people on board. I really don't know what happened yet. Uh, I'll have to listen some more. But you'll probably know by the time you, if you pay attention to the news. I never did before today, but sort of going through channels and I got hooked on CNN. I know I'm weird and I know they don't always report accurately, but whatever. It was an interesting story. A sad story. What do you think of it, Diesel? You were sleeping, weren't you? You want to go outside? Let's go outside, man. Show me some excitement. This is my this is my excited face, man. I'm excited. Look at me. I'm excited. I can hardly hold myself. I see that. Wow. He's really excited. Uh oh. There's another big dog over there. Hopefully Diesel doesn't notice. If he notices that there's another dog over there, there's no way I'm gonna get him to go to the washroom. And then we'll just have to wait till later and I'll have to make another stop in like a half hour. I don't like stopping every half hour. Waste a lot of time. Not on that diesel, don't go on that. Oh, we're going over to the bush over here. These are some nice sheds. Look at that. I would like that big one in my backyard. It's almost like a garage, you can almost park a car in there. That's nice, I would like any of these actually. All right, Diesel, we're gonna go over here. Or, or we're just, yeah, that works too. Strange, sprint, strange position, but hey, if it works for you, whatever. I don't know, let's just go close to those things. I don't want them to think that I'm gonna break in there. Look how green everything is here still, eh? I have a feeling that when I get back home, whenever that is, all the leaves will be changing color already. Did you know that uh, a few days ago, or well, a week ago for you, uh, Banff, Alberta, uh, just north of Idaho, sort of, uh, had a ton of snowfall? I think it was the end of August though, right? Either way, beginning of September maybe. They had this huge snowfall. How many of you are from Banff? How many of you saw that snow or had to drive through it or had to live in it? Snow, beginning of September. Here I am sitting in the boiling heat. Don't mean to brag or anything, but it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, this green stuff? Man, if I could live down here, tell you what. I'd probably still live up north, but I'd spend a lot more time down here if I could in the wintertime. Summertime, I like being up north. It's too hot in the summertime, but whatever. Can't complain. I like anything. I like anything that isn't minus 50. Hello, driver. Waved at me. So they have all these vending machines at the rest area. It's a lot of Coke machines. No Pepsi machines. Racist. Yeah, so this is an actual very nice little area here. And this isn't enclosed, so I guess it never really gets too cold here. Huh. What do they all got? Can you see it? Chips and chocolate bars and Skittles and cinnamon rolls. Yummy. Kentucky. Are we in Kentucky? I guess so. Is there any you are here sign? Oh. You are here. So we're in Kentucky. Hmm. Hello, Kentucky. Can I tell you something that's quite irritating to me? Can I tell you something? Do you want to know? Something that's minorly, sometimes majorly irritating to me. For people who drive vehicles equipped with cruise control. And on the highway. But choose not to use it. 
what are you doing? Why do you do that to me? So frustrating. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get past this guy right now, but pardon me, past this girl, pardon me, but uh, I think the cruise control is broken, that could happen, my cruise control has been broken on past trucks too, and that's frustrating for the driver as much as it is for everyone behind them, I don't know, I'm just a guy that you know, cruise is nice, Keeps you at the same speed. Whoa, unlike that guy who's just roaring down the highway, and that guy. You guys are all speeders. You're all breaking the law. You too, minivan. But are you late for soccer practice? is coming to an end guys we are at the end of our day here diesel stop sniffing your butt it's distracting me it's weird man thank you you don't feel guilty about it it's perfectly okay just not while I'm filming it's just anyways what was I saying we're at the end of our day here and it was a good day truck ran really well no delays really. Towards the end of the day we sort of had an accident in front of us. We had to take a little detour around. Mm, didn't take any time out of the day really. But uh, it was dark already so I couldn't film nothing of it. But I was just going back through some like old videos. Old videos from like 2011. Videos that I don't even have set on, uh, on public. that are on private because they're so old. And uh, so I gotta go through them all and re-release a lot of them. Because when I was watching man that look like the old days. The old days. Man, I've been making videos for a long time. So, something I really enjoy doing. And I hope you guys enjoy them too. I mean, I enjoy them. I enjoy making them. It takes all of my spare time. But I'm not complaining. It's just... Look at this. Even now, while I'm filming the end of day, I'm getting going. <laughs> already moving the files from that camera onto the computer because I'm done with that camera for the day I'm finishing off with this camera so once that camera's got all the files onto the computer I put the files from this camera onto the computer put them all together do my thing but I'm gonna do it tomorrow uh, after I go and uh, I'm dropping this trailer I have off in Ontario picking up a new one then we're headed home uh, probably just for a reset and then we'll hit the road again uh, unless dispatch wants me to just keep going no idea. All I know is I gotta head back to the yard in Manitoba from there. So we'll be going through northern Ontario, which is okay in the summertime. In the wintertime, I'd be a little bit more, hmm, whatever that means. I don't know. Look it up. So guys, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it when you guys watch my videos. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. If you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button. That way my videos get sent right to you. You can follow my life day by day regardless of what I'm doing. There's a vlog up every single day of the week, 365 days of the year, almost. I miss a few here and there, but I usually make up for it. So yeah, there's still 365 vlogs. Yeah, actually, yeah, because there is one every day, because I don't film every day, but if I don't film every day, I'll film two the next day, then I'll release them a week later, right? Because all my videos are a week behind, so you still get one every day at 4 a.m. Central Time. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you 4 a.m. Central Time, right here.